All right, guys, we're here on Perdido Key Beach. Pretty rough. Got my buddy Chaz, and I got some work buddies over there. We're doing a little pompano fishing today. Water is pretty rough, not gonna lie. Pretty rough, but let me try to show you guys what we're using. We got these little Sputnik weights. We're gonna be trying to hold it. We're gonna be trying to hold our bait on the bottom with these Sputnik weights. So hopefully uh, that'll help a little bit. So right now my buddy Chaz is uh, trying to get some sand fleas. This is a free bait that's just beneath your feet. It's free bait, it'll save you so much money while you're fishing. This is some of the best bait that you can use while surf fishing. We got one rod up already. I did throw one sand flea off. Uh, it still has one sand flea on top and then some shrimp on the bottom. I'm gonna leave it out there. But let me go ahead and show you guys what we're doing when we're raking for these sand fleas. You finding any? Right now we're just, we're doing something called blind raking. The water is a little dirty to kind of see any of the colonies. Um, sometimes you can actually see them come out of the sand in the water, which is nine times out of 10, that's how I catch my sand fleas. But some people you can actually look down the beach and see little V's in the sand and that's where their nostrils are actually poking up out of the sand. You can find them that way. We're gonna go ahead and rig up one more pole. We got one out, threw a sand flea off and uh, hopefully we get some fish. It's a little rough but I think we might be able to catch a couple. All right, we got two rods out. We're fixing to go put some more. I think this next rod that we're gonna use, we're gonna use a uh, shrimp. We're gonna use peeled shrimp. Peeled shrimp and fish gum, that's what we're gonna use. But it, as you guys can see, I mean, it is absolutely rough right now. I mean, it's probably blowing 15 mile an hour south, southeast wind. So it's a little bit of a headache trying to cast some of these baits out uh, pretty far. But we're going to try to make it happen regardless. I may put on a rod with just fish gum on it because with just fish gum, you can really sling these baits out far without worrying about slinging your bait off. Hey, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we, did, we just got a bite on the second rod as I'm sitting here trying to explain it. This one's got nothing but sand fleas on it. And that was definitely a hit. Got a couple pieces of fresh cut fish gum. This is the red fish gum right here. As you guys can see, this stuff has been in my truck for probably about a week now. And you can, you can still see whenever I cut it, it's still got some moisture in it. I mean, it's not dried out at all. It's kind of hard to tell out here, uh, you know, with all the sun and all that, but uh, definitely some moisture still in there. Great, great bait. I'm fixing to put it on and try it alone for the first time. We're gonna see how that, we're gonna see how that pans out. Tony, this one's for you, brother. I hope that this fish gum will pan out. We got sand fleas and shrimp down here, and we just got fish gum on this one. So maybe it'll catch a whiting, maybe it'll catch a pompano, we'll see. All right, guys, we just had a bite on the fish gum. I don't know if he's on. He's, he's running the beach. We may have a fish on, I don't know. Yeah, we got a fish on. What is it? It's a pompano, baby. On the fish gun, he might be a little too small. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, first pompano on fish gun. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Tony, great fish, brother. Tony, this, uh, this pompano is dedicated to you, man. We, we caught him on the top float, red fish gun. I had nothing but fish gum on this hook. Beautiful for the pompano. All right, guys, we just got our first pompano here in Perdido right, Key. You want to go with me? Nice little pompano. Caught him on fish gum, red fish gum on that Daiwa FT surf rod. Over there, we're fixing to put out another rod. Just fish gum. We still have it on the bottom float, but we're going to put some on the top float as well and uh, try to get another pompano. But that was awesome. First fish on just fish gum. It definitely works on a day like today. So when the water's really rough like this, it's always a good time to use fish gum or fish bites because the fish gum or fish bites, uh, they tend to stay on your hook a little bit more. So you, on a day like today, when you got a south wind, it's really hard to cast your, your lines out there against the wind. So just having that extra strength to cast out without your bait flying off with the fish bites or fish gum, 
um, definitely goes a long way. So always have a little bit of fish gum or fish bites with you. And like I said, that was on red fish gum. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tony, first fish on fish gum, brother. If y'all don't know what fish gum is, y'all go look it up on YouTube. Great, great bait. Fish gum number two. Get it, get it. When y'all get that? When y'all get that? Go ahead, pick it up. That's a pump. Oh yeah, that's fish gum. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Go ahead, you're real fast. I think it's swimming ashore. I hope it's not a ladyfish. I just saw it skip across the water. Man, that fish gum is working. Dude, that's awesome. I know, it really is. Huh? I don't know what scent is. He's running like a pompano, actually. Here, walk this way. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad it's up there. Oh, yeah, he's running just like a pompano. Pump! Nice pump! Woo! Yeah. On the fish yeah. gun, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, fish gun. Yeah. That's a nice hey, one. Yeah, that's a good one. Man, this fish gum is working phenomenal. Golly. Heck yeah, dude. Beautiful for the pompano, guys. Brant's done got him. That's a good one. So we probably just need to put fish gum let's, on it. Let's reel in that one, too. We'll put fish gum on it. <laughs> they are loving the fish gum. This is honestly probably my first time uh, using this bait, like seriously, and it's paying off. Yeah, we got two little chunks of fish gum. They seem to be going for the top float. I'll get that top one, brother. Good stuff. Dude, it is. It's working good, ain't it? Heck yeah. It's like the, yep. yeah. All right. <laughs> Dude, right? $20 down, man. That's, that's right. All right, we're going to sling this fish gun back on out there. All right, guys. We just got another pompano. I was flying the drone. I think Brant has got some good footage on it. We just got our third pompano on fish gum. This stuff is really working. It's really getting the job done today. Look at that one. That is a nice popping up, boys. Right on. We're gonna be eating good tonight. That's what I like to see. We got three pompano so far. Um, all of our setups, all of our setups are on fish gum right now. We're, we're getting a lot of bites on this FT surf rod. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move. Uh, we have a ninja dagger that my buddy sent me. It's an awesome, awesome surf rod. We got a ninja dagger over there uh, sterling is going to bring it over here we're going to put it to the left of this big rod because this rod has produced all the pompano so far so that must mean that we're in the hot zone over here we're throwing it just about as far as we can get it and uh yeah we're going to we're going to make it happen my buddy rich voldick sent me this rod it is by far one of the prettiest surf rods i've ever had um one of the best surf rods you can possibly pr pro probably get on the market it's called a ninja dagger by ninja tackle this is the 11 foot spinning rod these these retail for about 200 dollars but i promise you if you're a serious fisherman these will make the world of distance and you can sling your bait a mile with these rods one of the highest quality made surf rods out there on the market if you guys want to check them out i'm going to leave a link in the description tell them kyle sent you they are they are awesome awesome rods i have been looking at these rods well before rich sent me one or i was going to pick up a couple in the fall time i just never got around to it but these are some of the best surf rods on the market y'all check them out if y'all are really serious about surf fishing great great rods I think I see a pretty good trough. It's hey, hey, Sam, come here, come here, Sam, get it. All right, Sterling, that's you, boy. There you go, real straight. There you go, just like that. Oh, he's got a serious one on. All right, there you go, Sterling's hooked up. We just threw this one out, did we not? Oh yeah. 
it's been out for probably, Festival. yeah, literally like 45 seconds. Oh, yeah. Fish go. Keep on reeling, son. That looks like a good pump. I'm telling you, they are loving this fish gum today. Unreal. It's so cool being around here in Pensacola, or right now I'm in Perdido. But it's so cool being here in uh, Pensacola, Florida and having a local make a bait. Oh yeah, he's running. That's a pump real fast, real fast. There you go. There you go. Keep on coming. That might be a good pompano. He's running. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're good. Y'all look how far this pompano is taking him. Keep on ruling. He might have a good pop on. He might have a good pop. Oh my, that's a good one, man. That's a good one. Hey, we'll go ahead and walk back, Sterling. Woo! Y'all look at that. That's what I'm talking about, oh, brother. Yes, that is a good pop in there. On the fish gum. They seem to be really, really loving the fish gum. That is crazy. Awesome fish, man. That's probably the biggest one today. Yes, sir. So far. That's awesome. Here, we'll go ahead and take him off the hook and we'll put this back in the rod holder. Uh, yeah, real, real. You got him. He's on. Can you set this rod holder back up there? Yeah. All right, boys. I think Sam's hooked up. We probably had a school run on through. This might be his first four to pop in there. He ain't on. Keep on reeling. Yeah, they'll swim fast at the beach. You won't think they're on. Oh, really? Look, I see them. What's that floating out there? I just saw something. Look, you see it? Straight ahead. There's something floating out there. Oh, yeah, he's running. He's running. Woo! Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Good pumping up. Woo! Good pump. All right, Sam got him on. What are we gonna do with him? We're gonna let this one go. He's probably gonna. He, he might be barely legal, but if, if it's this hot right now, it's probably better just to go and throw him back. Just keep watching it. Something just smacked it. Something just. Oh, there it goes. Hold on, hold on. He's playing with it. Go, go ahead and get up to it, Sterling. You're good. Hold on, hold on. Just stay right there. We'll wait for him. Sometimes he'll come back. This one just got smacked. Just let it, let it chill for a sec. He'll come back. If he's, if he's interested in it, he'll come back. Yeah, hey, there you go. There you go. Yep, fish on. Go ahead and reel. Go ahead and reel. Constant tension. There you go. I told you he'd come back for it. <laughs> awesome, man. This might be pompano number six. We just had to let one go. Uh, the one that Sam just caught, and we actually had to let it go. It was a little too small, but I think we this. I think this one may be a keeper. I see a lot of stuff uh, jumping out there, man. Yeah. Looks like little ladyfish. On the fish gum again. I'm telling you, they are loving this fish gum. This one's not really. He's not really one to run. This you might not. You might have a whiting on her. He may have got off. No, he's on. He's on still? That, hey, okay. what are we working with here? Is this a great white? Yes, sir. Nice. Oh, well, hey, there, yeah. yeah, he's not running. I don't I don't think it's a I don't think it's a pop in there, man. Oh, he's run he's running now. What we got? Yeah, it's not a no a blue it's a blue it was a blue fish. It's all right. What was that? It was a blue fish. I'll go grab some more bait. You can just set it in the rod order. Get out of here, Fred. Get out of here. That bird always seems to find you when you're fishing. 